The National Weather Service has had its eye on it since last Thursday. On Sunday morning, they issued notice of a tropical disturbance. This morning, a tropical cyclone formation alert was issued. But senior forecaster Mike Middlebrook says the center of circulation is passing south of the island tonight, and it's unlikely to become a numbered tropical depression until after it passes south of Guam. If you look carefully here, you can see what appears to be some, some turning near the circulation center right there, and that's what we're estimating the, the surface circulation to be. So actually the center of the storm is passing south of us throughout the course of today. Right, we expect it to track basically along this line here, uh, south of the island sometime this afternoon of the sea, and then on out into the, into the Philippine Sea. However, there is a mass of clouds north of that circulation, which will give us periodic heavy downpours and gusty winds through tomorrow. Overall, the winds shouldn't be that strong. How strong? Uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour, maybe 25 if it happens to uh, get a, a batch of heavy rain or something, but nothing, so nothing close to tropical storm. It looks like this is just going to be a, a stormy weather event for us. Just a wet and breezy event, right. It's been years since the last serious storm affected the island, but Middlebrook cautions the weather patterns in the western Pacific are in the midst of change. La Nina is gone, and El Nino may be coming back. We had uh, Ponxona 10 years ago. We had Chaba come through uh, in 2004. Since then, it's been pretty quiet. This year, we had the La Nina. You know, the cold water in the equatorial Pacific has waned. We're now in a neutral condition. It could go to a warm event in El Nino later in the year. If that happens, that normally increases the risk for us because storms tend to form further east. So nothing too serious to worry about this time, but, says Middlebrook, it should serve as a cautionary reminder. We may have a real tropical uh, cyclone season this year, and people should, you know, this is the time to gear up and make sure we're prepared for what could be an active season. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.